because I uh, saw an article in the Washington Post by Bob Costas and one of his colleagues on the Never Trump people. And it was amusing because it was split between people who thought that Kasich was their dream candidate and uh, people looking for someone like Tom Coburn or others who might represent the social conservative dissent from Trump. And uh, it seems to me we're right back where we started with Cruz, which is uniting the anti-Kasich and the anti-Cruz and the anti-Trump Cruz vote is probably impossible. Well, I think that Trump represents a populist vision for the party that has a lot of problems inherent with it, uh, including uh, difficulty with the way that he goes about framing issues. Uh, I do think framing. that the way that he frames issues, yeah. I think that he has a uh, a uh, a difficulty in terms of his um, New York honesty and his directness. But I, I think the real the real problem is that um, there is a um, and there's been an acceptance of a kind of um, chamber of commerce view of economics and also of social issues that the case of people um, have accepted, and a chamber of commerce view of economics and a fight against the chamber of commerce that social conservatives have adopted. And Trump doesn't fit into either category. Trump is a pop, a populist and a nationalist, and totally rejects the Chamber of Commerce, especially on the question of economics. And that's where I think a large part of the uh, the anger at Trump comes from. Mm 